Greetings, the V36 workflow pack is ready, featuring 36 useful and convenient workflows. I've included everything you've asked for in your messages, and I'm doing my best to make sure everyone is satisfied. Thank you for your support. Now, let's take a quick look at how the new workflows work. The 2000 pixel latent upscale workflow has been updated with a LoRa node and an image compare node. To add a LoRa model to the workflow, go to the Civitai website, search for LoRa models and download them to the following LoRa folder. Name the file as you like. To copy the LoRa model to come for UI, run the copy LoRa's to come for UI script. Then press the refresh button. This will make the LoRa appear in the LoRa node list. To delete a LoRa from come for UI, navigate to the LoRa's folder. Open the LoRa's folder with this script, delete the files and then refresh. LoRa has been deleted. To activate the LoRa, set the strength model parameter from 0 to 1. With the help of LoRa, we can blend faces or unique styles with our own images. The LoRa is connected with the face detailer node, so the face enhancement will be generated based on the LoRa. The maximum parameter for LoRa is 1, with 0.5 representing 50% strength. This means the generated image and the LoRa will be mixed 50 to 50%. The 2000 pixel render workflow has received a style chooser node which allows for very rapid creation of masterpieces in 2000 pixel size ready for printing or sharing you can type and search for styles choose one and generate for the prompt i am currently using woman portrait Now we are trying another style. Every generation took 20 seconds with an NVIDIA 3090 graphics card.
With the Outpaint workflow, you can easily and quickly extend the edges of an image. This image is 2000 by 2000 pixels. We will now extend the left edge by 512 pixels. Drag the finished image into the load node and extend the right edge by 512 pixels. Drag the image to the Load Image node and add 512 pixels to the top. Now the image size is 3024 by 2512 pixels and the main subject remains completely untouched with no additional details added. I will introduce the ControlNet plus LoRa workflow, which includes Canny, Open Pose, and Depth models. Canny transfers fine details and textures to the new image. Open Pose captures and transfers the subject's pose. Depth preserves the pose and the shape of spatial subjects, maintaining three dimensional structure. We have a LoRa node, a style chooser, and a prompt node. The text from the style node will be in the Get Text node. We can copy, modify, and use it in other workflows. All right, let's take a closer look at the images. Now the default plus phase fix workflow also received a style chooser node, allowing us to select a style and generate endless images with just one click. The face detailer node automatically ensures perfect face quality. Introducing the ID Sticker Workflow, which allows you to quickly and easily create sticker style images with your own face and a transparent background. Simply drop an image into the Load node, select the prompt from the list, copy and paste it into the Prompt node, and start the generation. With just one word, you can get sticker style images. Type in a profession and start the generation.
We can even use movie styles, play around with the prompts, or ask ChatGPT for suggestions. With the ID sticker batch workflow, simply place the image into the load image node and start the generation. You'll receive 10 stickers in 10 different styles with no prompts required. I recommend using the print screen function to insert the image. Open a photo, press the print screen button. Click on the load image node and press Ctrl plus V. It is important that the inserted image is no larger than 1000 pixels and no smaller than 600 pixels. Remove background workflow. With this workflow, you can quickly remove backgrounds. Simply place any picture in the load image node and press the Q prompt button. Introducing the Style Cloner workflow, which uses the IP adapter model to copy a picture and blend it with prompts or other images. You can add weight to the IP adapter node to control the influence of the style on the final image. Adjusting the weight allows you to fine tune how prominently the style is applied. You can add a prompt to the Style Cloner workflow to specify the details or characteristics you want to blend with the image. This workflow uses the image, the prompt, and the style chooser with the IP adapter weight set to 0.7 to create the final blended image. The second image used the same prompt and style chooser, but with the IP adapter weight set to 0.3, so the IP adapter had less influence on modifying the prompt. The first picture was created by blending these two images along with the prompt and the style chooser using the IP adapter settings configured as shown. The second image also blended the two pictures and the prompt using the following IP adapter settings for the mix. Let's enhance an image using the latent upscale workflow. For the prompt, I'll use professional digital art. Okay, let's clone the style from this image. We get to images. The first with a high weight setting for the IP adapter and the second with a low weight setting. Let's look at a few more images with these settings. To upscale the low poly image, copy the low poly style prompt, open the latent upscale workflow, paste the prompt and start the upscale process. Now, upscale the Western-style woman image. For the prompt, 
Use words that describe the details of the image. Open the Outpaint workflow, drag the image into the Load Image node and set the following settings to add 512 pixels to the right side of the image. The 2512 by 2000 pixel image is now ready. Introducing the ID2X Wedding Workflow. This is a fast and convenient workflow for creating wedding couple photos using your own face. There are three built-in poses that can be adjusted as follows. With this setting, the couple is positioned close to each other. But if you prefer, they will be positioned slightly further apart. But there is also a close-up setting that allows for a better view of their faces and provides a more cohesive composition. We can also create wedding photos in different styles. I use the following prompt. Stay tuned for more updates.